Hello YouTube, this is Proven Arts, and as we know, Affinity Designer 2 came out, and it's quickly exploding on YouTube with a lot of videos on the tools. And the Shape Builder tool is a tool that is probably the one that's getting the most attention. But something that I want to make a little different about my video is that I'm going to show how you can trim and add shapes to open paths rather than closed paths. Now this is usually not recommended for vector designers because if you're making, let's say, uh, logos, a uh, UI design, or vector is usually known for creating enclosed shapes. But for someone who has more of a cartoon-based background, then, well, at least for my approach, I usually like drawing in open paths and then converting later on. So I'm gonna just show you some tricks with this. Now, there are two rules before I show you. And one rule is that you have to draw in open paths and you cannot close them. And the other rule is that you have to intersect the lines. So let's take a look at how you can do this. Now, one thing you can do is that you can make shapes from overlapping open paths. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select these shapes and then I'm gonna grab the Shape Builder tool, which is this tool right here. And now I am up here, I'm gonna press the, the Add button. And I just, this just converted into its own shape. This means that you can make shapes out of open shapes of cartoon characters also. So I'm going to color in this frog. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the paths that make up a closed region. And now again, I'm going to take the shape builder tool, press add. And now we just made a new shape. And then of course we can color this in. Now the reason we don't see the mouth is because I have to change the order. So I'll select this and then up here, I'm gonna say move to back. And now we'll do the same thing with his crown. Whoop. I want to make sure I select the crown only. And now for the final result, we can delete some of these lines. So we could delete this line here. And to delete it, I'm going to hold that X and swipe up. Now to delete, th now to delete this line, it is automatically grouped to this line here. So I'm gonna take the no tool for this. And now we get the final result that we're looking for. The second thing we can do in Affinity Designer 2 is trim intersecting lines. So what I'm looking to do is to trim this area, trim this area, 
this area, this area, and these two areas. Now, another vector application, amidine, does not require you to create closed regions in order to subtract segments. Now, you cannot do that in Affinity Designer. You do need to have um, the strokes be creating a closed region in order to subtract segments. So, there is a trick to it, however. So, I am going to select that path, take the pencil tool, and with sculpt mode on, I am going to do that. And now, with the uh, shape builder tool and subtract mode on, I can just do that. And, and if the subtract doesn't work, then you want to be make sure that the line actually, that you want to make sure that not just the stroke connects, but the line connects. So sometimes you have to actually intersect. And then you get the line that you're looking for. This also means that you can trim intersecting lines of cartoon characters. So in this girl example, I don't want to trim this line here, but I want to trim this one over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, then select the pencil tool with sculpt mode enabled. I'm going to continue from its endpoint and I'm going to loop. Now take the shape builder tool with subtract on and just delete. And then here I can just delete that one node. And now I'm going to do the same up here. Loop. Subtract. And now to just delete that extra node. And I could even bring this node a little further back. Another thing you can do, such as trimming the, this ear here, is to use the knife tool. So this was just a short video showing you some uh, different techniques you could use the Shape Builder tool for. I hope this gives you some ideas on how to be creative. And, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.